Hi, I'm the tree, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what's going on <clears throat> this July at Bohemian Grove in Sonoma, California. Um, the global elites gather there every year. Well, they gather there all through the year, but one of the main retreats is a two-week ritual retreat in July. <clears throat> Um, they've been gathering there for over 120 years. The global elites like Queen Elizabeth goes there and um, uh, George Bush and his father and um, Dick Cheney and a lot of global elites. If you look up the Bohemian Club um, or the Bohemian Grove Incomplete Camp List, you'll see um, all of the different organizations, you know, which are the uh, major corporations all over the world that are most powerful running the world. Um, they all attend there. <clears throat> July 21st is the ritual feast of Mary Magdalene, where they reenact the ritual sacrifice of Mary Magdalene. July 22nd is when they reenact the ritual sacrifice of Jesus. And yes, they sacrifice real people. And they really do. And they, um, they kill them. <laughs> and they're getting away with it all this time. And people can't do anything or say anything. People just turn the other way because, well, they have the power over the police and the government and the military. And um, pretty much the people just don't question it. The ones that do question it still haven't been able to find the power to get in or to confirm what is going on there. Uh, July 23rd is when Ceres lines up with the earth, the sun, and the pyramids in the perfect angle. Now, those are the three main ritual days. The 17th is when they start, 16th, 17th of July is when they start coming in and start getting real busy <clears throat> and stuff, but people don't stay necessarily for the whole two weeks. It does go on for two weeks, but the last main ritual is in July, July 23rd. This is a robe, a ritual robe. <clears throat> um, a friend of mine here in Las Vegas who's a member of the Bohemian Grove, of the Hillbillies camp, is a close friend of mine, and so anyways, this is his robe. Um... Okay, so Sonoma County, um, uh, I'm going to be there <laughs> on the outside um, at the gate waving to everybody as they go by, the global elites. They all know who I am because I've been pestering the hell out of them for years. Um, now, this you may find crazy, but it's true. The Bohemian Grove, all the members of Bohemian Grove are saying Aryan, saying Aryan, which is a reptilian race, a fourth dimensional race that... Um, <clears throat> has been, they're the Illuminati, and they inhabit human bodies, human hosts. They make up 3% of the world, and they run the entire world. The head of this um, race is Queen Elizabeth. She is Sangarian, um, not human. Um, and it's hard to prove this because they inhabit human bodies, you know, so it's real hard to tell, but they use that, they do that through the um, hermetic alchemy and the, um, ritual and um, technology and, you know, surgery, all different types of ways, you know, that they do this. <clears throat> Fred Ryan Hotep was one of the seven alchemists in the world who um, had access to the Philosopher's Stone and the Emerald Tablets and um, was, he was under the United Grand Lodge of England, Yugal, and I've been flown there three times to North Carolina. <clears throat> And um, he, uh, his name is Mark Griggs, and he, uh, North Carolina. He goes by Freighter M. Hotep, and he was, was one of the one, one of the seven alchemists um, in the world that um, do this under Yugo, which is one of the seven that um, turn humans into not humans. Literally, is what they do. It's a lot of sci-fi stuff going on here. I'm sure, and it all sounds untrue and. Unbelievable, but really the only thing that makes it unbelievable is that it's unbelievable. <laughs> Everything else fits. And uh, so I'm going to come back with you and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the Sangarian. A lot more because I've spent my life pestering the hell out of not just the Hell's Angels, but the Illuminati. And have in person met Sangarian um, more than once and more than one. And uh, friendly terms and have been able to... Um, glean a lot of information about Sangarian, which I will tell you about. Um, they do have three hearts, by the way, <clears throat> because I've seen the shapeshift several times. Um, they have three hearts, although they're cold-blooded and they're just now learning how to feel human emotions before that. Before now, they never really did. Um, they're 
um, feelings were all five senses. Had to be sat, have to be satisfied with the five senses. And sex is one of the main parts of their ritual too. Every ritual they have involves sex because that's one way that they get their energy. Um, besides um, sacrificing the humans and drinking the human blood and eating the human flesh in order to get the human DNA and biology inside their body so they can stay anchored. Okay, so anyway, July 21st, July 22nd, and July 23rd are going to be the main ritual days, and I'm going to be there staying right outside that gate And um, because I'll tell you what, <laughs> what's going on there is not cool and it's not right. And besides that, it's time that the human race and the Sangarian race, um, you know, come to terms as uh, what we're going to do here. But as long as the humans don't know about the Sangarians, then they're going to be able to totally control and destroy. And they are, really. But many Sangarians, though, um, have over time developed human emotions where they actually um, will not take life. And about 10% of the Sangarians um, get their blood from the Red Cross. Okay, it won't take life. And like I said, the Sangarians make up 3% of the world's population. <clears throat> and, uh, okay, so um, hang on tight. You want to go for a ride? You want to see paradise? You want to live on the wild side? Open the gates, because you know you've got the key. Open the gates and live this eternal lullaby. Earth Park.